Hey what's up guys this is Nayashik from blog2.com and welcome to another video and this is a very very special video because in this video I'm going to show you how to convert your WordPress website into an Android app and that too for free. That's right guys absolutely free you don't have to pay a single penny for that okay. So without wasting any time let's get started and before starting if you really enjoy my video if this really helps you make sure you subscribe to my channel also give a thumbs up to this video. I would really appreciate that okay so let's come back to the website and obviously before proceeding further you first have need to have a website a wordpress website uh, and i guess most of you guys have it that's why you're watching this video if you don't have it don't worry i have created many different tutorials on how to create different kind of website for example if you want to create a business website i have a video for that if you want to create a blog i have a video for that i have a video for e-commerce multi-vendor e-commerce and my affiliate amazon website is also coming soon so i'll link all those videos in the video description below make sure to check that out if you don't already have a website okay so but i'm assuming that you guys have a wordpress website and so let's see how to get further okay so come back to your website how about this go to your dashboard to your wordpress website dashboard whatever website you have created okay so now what we have to do we have to install a plugin a free plugin a very very useful plugin okay so for that hover here which says plugin and click on add new okay now under this search plugin just type in word app w o r d a w p app obviously and press enter Okay, as you can see guys, we are getting two different results. Okay, the first one is word app by app developer dot biz and the second one is word app by word app. But we want this one word app by app developer dot biz, uh, which has more than 8000 active installs and I have already installed it. So and activated it. So if you haven't, you'll see something like this, which would say install now. So just click on install now and activate. Once you do so, you'll see this thing over here at the left hand side, you'll see this word app thing. Just click on that. Okay, now scroll down and click on this get started now button. Okay, I see here the main fun begins. As you can see, uh, there is a, you can see a, you know, a preview of your app, how your app would look like uh, in mobile phone. Okay, and as you can see at the top, uh, there is a header. I don't want that header. I want my website exactly to look same on uh, the mobile website. So what I'll do is first, so let's start from top first. First one is uh, app toolbar color. This is the app toolbar color. We don't want to change that because I'll be totally removing that section. Okay, that is just useless section. According to me, you can give a name to your app. I will give it blog dude obviously okay app logo you can upload a app logo i already have created a logo you obviously would have your own logo just upload that logo go to upload files select your file and let me select that file here is my logo okay uh, it should be 51 by uh, 512 by 512 so 512 pixels by 512 pixels okay and click select this image and click on open Okay, now click on this select button. Okay, once you do so, just scroll down. And now as you can see, we also can see our logo over here. Okay, now let's scroll down again. Let's first see the preview of how our website looks like at present. Okay, this is how it looks like. Let's scroll down. Okay, opening page, how should, a, uh, what should be your opening page? So basically you have different a type of post a list of post last I, I would recommend not to touch all these things and uh, you can select this opening page and you can select different pages uh, if you want a different page to be uh, displayed if you want your home page to be displayed like it is displaying on your website select default home page if you don't want to do any settings just make this thing default use WordPress default settings okay after doing so just click on save changes again Okay guys, now go to this section, menus and bars section. Just click on this menus and bars. 
So here basically it will ask you if you want a bottom navigation. So basically if you select a bottom navigation on, so what would this do is, you know, bring your navigation at the bottom. So I don't want that. I don't want to do any changes over here. I just want my website to look exactly, you know, the same on the app. So I don't want to do any change over here. If you want a top nav or bottom nav, side nav, whatever you want, you can select this and make this on. I don't know. I don't want to do that okay now go to slideshow and let's see whether we need any change over there or not okay we don't want to do any changes over here everything is fine this is not uh, a very important step we just have to make this thing off activate the slideshow we'll make this thing off okay now go to the last option which is the app structure and that is the most important option so click on app structure Okay, now here again, it will ask you for app icon. So upload that icon, which you just uploaded. Okay, select this one. This is the one which we just uploaded. Okay, and click on this select button over here. So you should see that. Now the second option is an app splash. This is basically the image which comes uh, when you open your web uh, when you open your Android app, you see first uh, a, a page or an image comes. So basically this is that screen, you know, so your image must be 640 pixels into 113 pixels uh, as you can see over here. So I have already created an image, so I will upload that. So just click on upload splash. And here is the image which I have created was 640 into 1136. Now select this. Okay. Fine. Now here you have to give a name to your app. Okay. So again, I'll put in blog dude. Fine. App version will be 0.01, .01, which is fine. You can give a app description keyword. You can select a category for Let's select entertainment. You can also give some keyword and description to your app if you want. Okay. Now just click on save changes. Now after doing all these changes, just click on this publish app at the top. If you see this publish app tab, just click on this publish app. Okay. Fine. Once you do so, uh, you will receive uh, this thing over here, this page. Now we have our app name completed, app icon completed, app splash screen. This is the three most important thing. Now here you have to enter the email address on which you want your APK file. Basically the APK file is just the file, your software file, okay? Android software file or Android app file more specifically. Okay, so I am putting my email address and just click on this publish Android app, okay? So once you do so within an hour, for me, it was mostly within an hour. So within an hour, you'll receive two different emails from these guys. Let me show you how that would look like. Okay, guys, as you can see in my mobile phone, uh, this is the first email which you'll receive from these guys. Thank you for a recent request. Your app has been sent to our blah, blah, blah. blah. So this is not the important email. After that, you will receive another email. Okay, so I might have received it already some times ago. So let's search that. Okay, here it is. I uh -huh, fine. So the second email which you'll receive, it would look something like this. And here you will have your download APK file. Okay, so this is the link which you have to click. Once you click on this link, your file will get uh, downloading. It will start downloading. And okay, you just have to click on OK. And as you can see, uh, your file is getting downloaded, but I have already uh, downloaded this file. So I'll let me show you how that file would look like in your mobile phone. Okay, so go to your explorer. Okay, uh, APK files. And as you can see, I have created many different apps and the top one uh, is my app. Okay, so you can just install this app. Okay, click on install. I have already done that, but again, just installing app installed. Click on done first. Okay, now let's see. As you can see, we have our app over here. Okay, my we have the logo which we just installed. We have our app name blocked. Dude, everything is fine. Let's open and see whether everything is working fine or not. Okay, so as you can see, this is the splash image which we uploaded. Our website is getting loaded. Uh, the Android app now it is not a website it's an Android app that sounds cool okay for free okay man this looks terrific awesome 
Okay, so as you can see, this is an Android app. We didn't have to spend a single penny and we have our Android app. It looks amazing, super awesome. Nothing has changed. It really has, you know, it, this really looks awesome and I'm really happy to see this. Okay, so this is how you create an Android app, but this is not the end. After this, you have to, you know, okay, fine. I got an email. Okay, let's, okay, after this, you will, have to upload this to google play store so that anyone and everyone can install it uh, from google play store so i'll show you how to do that in my next video which should be coming uh, i think i will be uploading that video within uh, two three days so make sure you subscribe to my channel okay so you don't miss that video okay guys so for this video this is the end i guess uh, i've shown you how to create or how to convert your wordpress website into an app and i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give a thumbs up to this video and also subscribe to my channel thank you for watching